big restock from OSP, new items from Duo. This is what's new at the Hookup Tackle. Welcome to the Hookup Tackle. Oh, what a oh, stud. Yeah. Look at that. That was <laughs> sick. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? How are you doing? Griff here. Good morning. Happy Sunday. I uh, hope everybody had, is having a good weekend so far. So let's get into what's happening uh, today at the hookup. We just got a big restock of OSP stuff. So, so a lot of your favorites uh, are back in stock. Let's start here with uh, Blitz EXDR. Big restock in EXDR. Some of your favorite colors are back in stock. You know, Essadon, Purple Haze, Ghost Geisha. Blam. And of course, so sick. All right. Everybody been waiting on a restock of some of their favorite colors. More, more colors in stock, so we got most of the lineup back in stock now. So if you're waiting on certain colors, we've restocked most colors. So check out the website. See what colors that, that you're looking for. If they're there, grab them up because you know these won't last. And we're coming to a springtime, so these are going to go pretty quick. Dole Life Shads are back in stock. Three and a half, four inch four and a half all right so most colors are in stock now if you've been waiting on some doe live shads there you go doe live sticks are back uh <clears throat> key sizes and key colors are back in stock uh doe live stick as you know is their stick shad bait restock on most colors on that also so i know a lot of people love these things if if you've been waiting on a color go ahead and scoop them up because they are in stock i have, I have most colors in stock now four and a half inch Doe Live Shot, all right? So the Doe Live Shot is another cool bait that a lot of people are really loving. Mostly used as a bat glide. So you're gonna start your hook on this side with the tentacles, and then it's gonna go away from you. So it's, it's gonna you throw the water and it's gonna go the opposite away from you. So, and then when you do rip it or it tears, you can just put the hook on the other side and use it like a typical worm or, or shad or a tube style bait there you go doe live shot four and a half inch back in stock doe live crawls all sizes doe live crawls most colors back in stock now uh doe live crawl super sick uh realistic looking crawl bait with a big thick claws they're not gonna vibrate in the water they're just gonna they're just gonna flap like that but they make a lot of move they move a lot of water they make a lot of commotion so there you go all key colors and sizes back in stock. MMZ worms back in stock, all three sizes, most colors. Um, if you've been waiting on these, these do fly out of here pretty quick. Pretty popular bait around the US. So there you go, MMZ worms. One of our favorite spinner baits, the High Pitcher, is back in stock. So most colors, most sizes are back. There you go, just in time for the spring. Boom. And High Pitcher Max back in stock. High Pitcher, High Pitcher Max is gonna be your thin bladed, vibrated a lot type spinner baits. The High Pitcher Max is gonna be a, a little bit smaller of a body, but it's gonna have a thinner wire on there, so it's gonna vibrate a little bit more as it's going through the water when you compare it to like a High Pitcher. So there you go, back in stock. Size 86 Bento Minnow, or Bent Minnow. All right, Bent Minnow is a cool bait, it's a hard bait. Jerk bait, top water bait, crank bait, whatever you want it to be. There's many different ways to work this. It's got this cool little bend in it. It lands in the water like this with the hooks down. But as you're working it, if you're if you're twitching it, it's gonna move in whichever way that the bend is facing, that's the way it's gonna move. So if it's going down, it's gonna go down. If it's up, it's gonna go up. Sometimes we'll come out of the water like a, like a flickering shad. Um, so there you go. Bent minnows, it's size 86, back in stock. And 
Go Live Beaver, all right? All key colors are back in stock, all sizes, three inch, three and a half, four inch. Every, everything's back in. You got your green pumpkin, your Amazaris, you got your 027s, best color ever. Everybody's been waiting on new colors to come in. Uh, so we've restocked a bunch, most colors in this beaver. So if you've been waiting, there you go, they're here. OSP has some new color offerings in the Rudra. So let's talk through these colors right here. Some pretty sick ones. So this is gonna be laser blue pink. All right, pretty sick one right there. I'll take this one out of the package because it's pretty dope. Boom. This color right here is called Naburakin Rin Head Glow. So this yellow color up here will glow in the dark. Um, definitely painted for the salt, but it definitely has a lot of crossover to freshwater fishing. So there you go. Nabura Kinrin Head Glow. I have a chrome one right here for you called Edame Kimura Plating. All right, it's gonna be an all chrome Rudra. Pretty sick. Rudra has been just killing it for us lately here. Uh, we upsize our size of our jerk bait, get a little bit more aggressive on it, and these fish have been loving it. Uh, chartreuse Back Ghost. So it's the clearest, whitest color with that chartreuse top. Pretty sick. So if you're into Rudras and you wanted to see something a little bit different, there you go. New color offers, offerings from OSP and the Rudra. We're also gonna see some of those colors in the Varuna. So the Varuna is just a little bit smaller in that 110 size. Um, there you go. Some of those same colors coming in in the Rudra. There are a couple more colors that they brought in for us. There you go. Let's check these out. So 92 is gonna be matte HF cold wakasagi this is a pretty cool one right here all right so you're gonna get that matte side on there it's clear like a clear smoke on the top and then white bottom right there pretty sick new color right there it's definitely going in my lineup there you go varuna new colors in the varuna Again, if you're waiting on some new colors and you like the Varuna, now's your chance. Grab them up while they're here. All right, guys, small little restock from Mega Bass. So the V9 spinner baits are back. I got them in all sizes, all colors. So they're available now. There you go, V9 is that thin wired spinner bait. It's got that funky little blade on the bottom of it that allows it to vibrate really, really hard. So if you're looking for something thin wire that vibrates hard, the V9 is a great option for you. Back in stock after a long, time missing are the Sight Killer Pink and the Sight Chartreuse Spark Sheds, all right? They're coming in in the three inch uh, pinks and chartreuses. This is it's like a springtime staple for us here in Arizona with a small mouth, love them. They eat them up pretty well. Uh, these don't last in here and we don't get them very often. So there you go with the pink and the chartreuse spark sheds. Alrighty, and from our friends at Bottom Up, we have a restock in the Flumi. I got all sizes back in stock. All colors back in stock. So if you're looking for a blade bait, that's pretty dope. A little finesse style blade bait. Even though they get a bigger body, they're pretty they're pretty finesse, all right? And it's super clear on the bottom instead of just having that solid weight there. It's a little bit clearish on there. The the Flumi has a great action on there. It's like in between mega aggressive and subtle. So it's like an in-between uh, on that lift and drop. It just it gets bit. It gets bit really, really well. So there you go, Flumi's back in stock from bottom up. All right, the Gap Jig. Gap Jig has been one of your guys' favorite small compact jigs. Uh, I have them in six new colors and restock of other colors that you guys have been loving. So there you go, Gap Jigs are in, all sizes are here. Gap Jig, if, if you're not familiar, it's a super compact flipping style, casting style jig. It's got a small hook on there. Got a really good bait keeper on that, so you can put a small little crawl trailer on there. Super dope jig from bottom up. All right, guys, also restocked in is the Frisch. All right, 3.5 inch. All right, it's got that little itty bitty tail on there. It's got a super subtle action on that. Uh, this also is another good strolling bait. That paddle tail is not gonna really interfere with the roll of it, but it's a cool one. Uh, a lot of people are doing it, a drop shot on it. Um, just swimming it in the water the action is real subtle so you can swim it really fast and it just just vibrates real hard as it swims by 
but super cool three and a half inch there you go bulls hog baby so this is another big claw beaver style bait but in a super small size this size right here it's like a two two and a half inch bait um super small super subtle when you just need a smaller presentation bulls hog baby does it and a new offering from bottom up is the breaver 2 okay the breaver is a worm that has a paddle tail on it so it's going to be like a crawler style worm 5.4 inch all right and it has this little paddle tail on the back of it right there uh, gives it a little bit of extra action if you don't want it it's meant to be cut off uh, and then you can just use it as a straight worm or if it gets damaged just cut it off and then you just have a crawler style bait right there so it's a two-in-one type bait got a ton of action on there uh super dope check them out reaver 2 new offering from bottom up all right guys so we got a lot to talk about with duo major restocks and duos i got new items uh, I got new colors, a lot of stuff coming in from Duo, so let's get started. Let's talk about it. The Drag Metal Cast, all right? It's one of my favorite jigging spoons, all right? It's a small little spoon made for the salt water, but it has a lot of crossover to fresh water. We've been catching a ton of fish. We catch a lot of our a lot of our bar fish out here, stripers, white bass, uh, the largemouth heated up, all right? Small little spoon like that all right it's got an assist hook on the front treble hook on the bottom if you feel like you're going to get caught up a lot just take that treble hook off and that assist hook on the front will be good enough it catches the fish it keeps them pinned uh it's a circle style hook up there so uh it gets in there and it holds the fish really really well a lot of new color offerings in it i have all sizes 15 15 gram all the way to 30 gram so you're going to see a lot of cool colors in that one Boom, there you go. Drag metal cast, restock, and new colors. So if you're looking for a cool jigging spoon, there you go. Spin baits are back in stock. So I have 80 G fix. I have 72 alpha, I have 62 alpha. All, all colors are back in stock, all right? So if you're looking for some of your favorite colors, there you go, AM Hasu, right there. Chartreuse Shads. I've got this ghost gills, all the colors that you've been looking for that have been sold out for a long time. There you go, back in stock. Uh, I even have the 80 shallow water in all colors back in stock right now. So if you've been waiting for them, uh, they are back in stock. Also with these spin baits, uh, we're gonna see colors that you're used to in some sizes that you haven't been able to get in other sizes. So new colors have been coming out. So in the 80, I have a, you know, Brown Trout ND, Supernatural color on there. Ghost Wakasagi in the 80, this is dirty. Let's check it out. There you go. A Supernatural bait fish pattern on that. Super sick, super transparent, super sick color. Morning Mist, this is another cool one. There you go, this is a clear matted color. It's got those dots on the back. Oh, dirty. There you go another cool color in that 72 called aqua herring it's a super transparent half blue half green oh man look at that Woo. duos paint jobs are some of the best on the market they just they, they get some cool colors in there the paints are super clean so there you go new color offerings in duo realis spin bait all right guys big restock in duo jerk baits i got 110s and 120 sps in a lot of key colors a lot of springtime colors that are coming up so some of your favorites are back in stock there you go 110 and 120 suspending also restock in the 100 dr so you're looking to go a little bit deeper the 120 dr is going to get you there that that jerk bait right there gets you about 10 11 feet 120DR, there you go right there. Also two new colors in the 100DR, Phantom Shad and American Shad, all right? So these are not new colors in the lineup. These are just new colors in these baits. We've seen these colors before. Pretty sick, transparent, natural bait fish color right here on that Phantom Shad. Nice black top on that. And American Shad, it's that same American Shad that we're used to. 
Just a pretty cool, clean shad color right there. There you go. New color offerings in the 100DR. All right, for you trout guys, uh, Spearhead Ryuki, size 38, all the way up to 70, restock on key colors on that one. I have all the sizes, 38, 45, 51, 60, and 70. They're all restocked right there. All sizes available now. Most colors are there, so if you're trying to get into some of trout fishing, the, Ryuki, the Spearhead Ryuki is a good one. These little tiny stream baits right here. Cast them in there, burn them up downstream. Fish really good. Fish really great in current. Um, the way they're meant to be fished. So there you go, Spearhead Ryukis. All sizes are there. And some new colors in the 38 and the 46. All right, so all these are gonna have UV tints to them. All right, so as the UV, as they get a little bit deeper and a little darker water, that light will hit and they will shine a little bit brighter so they're, they're more visible. Kind of like a glow, but not technically a glow. So they're all gonna be in super bright colors. Bam, there you go. New color offerings in 38 and 46. There you go. And all these were sinking. Some more new colors in the Spearhead Ryuki Quattro. All right. The Quattro is a four piece bait. It's a cast and retrieve bait. It's not a top water, it's not a wake bait. You're gonna cast it, it's gonna sink, and you're gonna burn it in. It's gonna have a ton of like fish-like action on there. It's gonna, it's gonna wiggle as it comes through the current. Four new colors in the 70 and the 90, all right? So there you go here. Pink Yamame, RP Loach. Wakasagi, that's a, a standard duo color right there, but it's a good one. And UV Silver Slash, so that's gonna be a UV coated chrome style bait. Pretty neat one right there. This this one right here, the Ryuki, the Spearhead Ryukis are aimed at trout, but these baits right here, they catch a ton of bass. Bass love them, they, they work really well. They swim really well, those were the 70s. I also have them in the 90s if you need a little bit bigger of a profile. There you go. Spearhead Ryugi, new color offerings in 70 and 90S. All right, here we go. The Spearhead Ryugi Spinner. All right. It's going to be an inline spinner. All right. But it's got that little shad shaped body to it. A uh, unique blade on that one that's on the actual wire. It spins, it thumps really, really hard. Very cool colors in there. Like you get a, like a matte black, a UV silver AU. Lots of cool colors on that. Sizes three and a half gram and five gram back in stock. There you go. Another big restock is the Rosante. Rosante 63 and 77 suspending. The Rosante is a small body jerk bait. Uh, it's meant to be worked pretty aggressively. Um, so there you go, Rosante. 63 and 77. So they're gonna be your smaller jerk baits. Pretty sick uh, offerings from Duo. You've been waiting on them. These have been out of stock for a while. So there you go. Rosante 63, 77. So Duo's Rally crankbaits 5A all the way through 11A. The M62 and the M65 coming back in, restock. Most colors are in stock now, most sizes. So five through 11, five, eight, 11. There you go. Key colors, key sizes. That thing. Ooh, pink and gold. Eee, dirty. Good springtime colors back in stock. A lot of people been waiting for colors uh, with that reddish, orange, blue on there. So there you go. Uh, M65, M62, 5A, all the way down to, or all the way up to 11. Uh, the, the number is going to be the dive. The dive depth, so the five is gonna be more shallow, the 11 is gonna be more deep. So find the one that you're looking for and the, the water levels that you want to fish in. Uh, so there you go. Duo Realis crankbait. Apex Tune Vibration 68, back in stock. Mid-sized bodied vibration bait, uh, lipless crankbait, uh, trap, whatever you wanna call it. There you go. 
apex tune right there. And something with a little bit different of a sound. I have a tungsten tune version of that bait. That's that G-Fix Vibration 68 tungsten tune. All right, so sounds are gonna be a little bit different between the two. Uh, this one with the tungsten balls in there. So check those guys out. And if you need something with a little bit bigger of a body, there's that Apex Vibe 85, all right? That's a big bodied lipless right there. I, it's, pretty, it's pretty big. So there you go. Boom, there's that. It's got that little single knocker in there. Not gonna make a ton of sound, but there you go. Bigger body. I have been waiting on this, all right? The Riggle Ned Slim 3.0, all right? Three inch Ned bait from Duo. Uh, this is one of the hottest selling Ned baits on the planet right now. Um, I have six new colors. I know you guys are excited about this. Super dope. UV Perch Green, all right? So you're gonna get that green on the top, that yellow on the bottom right here. Um, one thing that sets this bait apart is that when it falls, that bottom quivers, all right? It's not just gonna be a straight fall. You pick that thing up and you let it fall, and as long as that weight's pulling it down, it's quivering all the way down. So, pretty cool Ned bait. Very unique shape to it. UV brown perch, all right? So you can get that brown there. A little bit of orange there. A lot of flake in this one. Super cool. Light Pro Blue. There's the top of it there. There's that bottom part of it right there. There you go. Green Pumpkin Chartreuse. So it's got a very unique chartreuse on that part. And then Green Pumpkin Solid right there. Passion Fruit CS. All right, there you go. Two-tone, same color, top and bottom and Segura Katakuchi, all right? It's that standard Katakuchi black right there. Get a little bit of a silver transparent gray on the bottom. There you go. We've all been waiting for new colors to come out. Super dope offerings right there. Six new colors in the Riggle ND Slim. All right, guys, back to Spearhead Ray Ryuki, all right? So Duo, is in a collaboration with a company called Air. Air is a company in Japan that makes super high-end rods for trout fishing. They do casting, BFS style stuff, and also spinning. But they collaborated with them in a Spearhead Ryuki. Uh, the baits are going to be the same. So <clears throat> if you're used to Spearhead Ryuki and you really love them, uh, these baits are gonna do everything exactly the same, but they've added some special colors into the lineup and they're called the Air. So on the package right here, the collaboration is with the Air Company. Pretty neat colors, colors on these. Uh, very unique. I mean, look at that. So, and these will come in the 46, 51, and 70. If you're looking for unique colors, these are not gonna be core colors in their lineup, but they're pretty, Pretty sick colors there, all right? A lot of them are matted, a lot of blue tones on them. Uh, there's some bright ones on that. There you go. Black Demon is what this color is called. Look at that. Ugh, so sick. These will be linked. They're not gonna share the page with the regular Reiki, Spearhead Reiki, so they will be linked down there. They'll have their own page, so if you're looking, you just wanna look at the colors, uh, what the offerings look like, so you can just click on that link and they'll be there. So if you pay attention to Duo, they've been teasing a new bait. They've been making some pretty cool, like, secret style commercials about it, uh, these coming soon videos, and they are here. So what we have is the Onimasu Masakage, all right? This is a new trout style bait. All right, so these are gonna be a little bit bigger. They're coming in in a 90, a 110, and a 120 slim. They are meant to be fished as stream baits. They have a circuit board lip. All right, that lip right there is a lip that's meant to get faster reaction from the bait. 
Um, it's going to deflect a little bit harder when it hits stuff. Uh, they wanted, when they developed this, they wanted a bigger profile bait to fish in the streams. So they did that. It's called the Masakage. It's named after the man who created them. Um, I mean, the packaging is extremely nice. The colors are pretty sick on these. Oni Masu. I hope I'm saying that right. But there you go. This is the 90. The 110 and the 90 are going to have the same body style. This one's a little bit bigger and they are floats, okay? But they're also meant to be fished both ways in the stream. You can cast them up current, work them down, jerk them like a jerk bait, burn them in, fish them slow through the through the current. Um, but as your bait's getting past you and it's down current, they are tuned to fish back up the current. So instead of you just burning your bait in, just, just get it out of the water, these things are gonna have a ton of action as they're coming back up. They're not gonna burn out or blow out in the current because of how fast it's going. So these fish right here, you can, ca you can catch fish on each end of the cast or anywhere in between. So if you're looking for a bait that can do that, you know, a lot of times we let the bait get past us, then we just reel, reel it in because you know, it's not really going to do anything on the bottom end of the cast. But this one right here is meant to be worked all the way through the cast. Pretty cool bait right there. A lot of technology into that, getting it to swim just right. All right, so that's that 120 slim. It does have a slimmer profile to it. All right, if you look at it right there, that's at 90. There's that 120. Obviously, it's longer at 120 millimeters. Um, but the profile is different on that. If your fish are looking for a slightly skinnier profile on a bait, but a little bit longer, there you go, 120 Slim F. So check those out, all right? So this is a brand new offering from, from Duo. They're really, really hyped about it. So check those out. All right, guys, so one more bait in the Onimasu uh, lineup right here is gonna be the Onimasu Kagura, all right? So this is a way bigger body profile but the baits are gonna be a little bit shorter. They're coming in at 88 and a 90. The 88 does come in a sink or a float. If you're in that hard stream stuff and you want it to sink a lot faster, that sinking one is gonna be the deal for you. These ones here come with that standard lip on there. They're gonna be just giant versions of your Spearhead Ryukis. Come in some of the same colors, some different colors on that, right? So you're gonna get a sinking and a floating big bodied spearhead Ryukis. So if you're used to those and you want a bigger profile, try to target bigger fish, or your fish just want something bigger to eat, they don't want those small meals, there you go. The Onimasu Kagura. Boom, there you go. All right guys, another new offering from Duo is gonna be the Bay Rough Seek. The Bay Rough Seek is a bait fish style bait that's meant to be fished subsurface, all right? There's that shape right there. It's got a little bit of a rattle in there. All right, so this one right here is gonna be for your forward facing guys. This one, as you cast it out, it's gonna hit the water and it's just gonna shimmy. It's gonna shimmy on the way down. Burn it, burn it, burn it, pause it. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Uh, burn, burn, pause. Very similar to like strolling where you can control it in the column wherever you want it. You cast it out, you watch it on your forward facing. Burn, burn, burn. Um, keep it where you want it there you go I mean this bait I've been using this for the last month or so and we have been smacking them on this thing these new Bay Rough series hard plastics are killing it obviously they're made they're made for the salt so if you want to take them to the salt they have all the components on there for saltwater stuff but um, we're doing a ton of like <coughs> striper smallmouth fishing with these things and they're getting bit you can burn it, you can jerk it like a jerk bait. It's kind of gonna walk under the surface like this. You can just cast it, let it shimmy down, do a lift, let it shimmy, do a lift. The Seek is gonna come in four different sizes and two different versions, all right? So right here, I have a 85 heavyweight. That's the 85 heavyweight. Um, and come in with a smaller version of a 68 heavyweight right there. I have the regular 68 sink, 
all right there you go right there so these ones are just going to sink a little bit slower these will be more controllable in the column they will rise up on you faster the heavyweights will stay a little bit lower if you want them to stay the regulars will rise up on you a little bit faster as you're working them there's an 85 right there and then if you want a big version there's a 108 all right so if you look at that 108 you compare it to the 68 or the 85 it is a lot bigger but they have the same sound just the sink rates are going to be different on them so it's another cool bait for your forward facing fo sonar guys um i've been using it been catching a ton of fish on it uh it's a pretty it's a pretty effective bait right there so there you go bay rough seek all right guys another new bay rough item is the bay rough manic Ooh. So this is going to be a similar type of bait. This one is a long slender one. It's still got that little rattle in there, but this one is meant to be fished on the surface. All right, you cast this one out and you kind of just burn it in and it's going to create a V wake on the top of the surface with the back end kind of swinging very, very slightly and a little bit of body roll on that right there. It creates a dirty like V wake on the top of the surface and it just looks like a bait scurrying on top of the surface. It does sink though. So don't cast it out there and think it's going to float because it is a sinker. So you cast it out there and you kind of just burn it in. You can give it a couple pops. It's going to add a little bit of jerks to it, but the magic is in the straight retrieve on that one. There goes that right there. It's got a little rattle in there, so it's going to make a ton of noise. So this is the Bay Rough Manic. And then you have the Bay Rough Manic Fish. All right, guys, the only difference is the profile on them, all right? So the Bay Rough Manic is gonna come in multiple sizes, a 75 and 95. This one right here is the 95, all right? Uh, the Bay Rough Manic Fish is gonna come in a 77, all right? And if you look at it, you can just tell it's a little bit thicker. It's just gonna imitate a different type of bait fish, all right? But it's gonna have that same action. You cast it out there, you burn it on the top of the surface, it's just gonna scurry across the top of the surface, make a lot of noise, create that V wake, and it drives fish crazy. All right, so there you go. Bay Rough Manic Fish and a Bay Rough Manic. Uh, pretty cool baits right there. I definitely, definitely recommend these. If you like sick top water blow ups, those are some cool baits to have in your arsenal. Last bait from Duo is gonna be the Duo Jumgo, the Beach Walker Jumgo. All right, that's spelled just like that. Jum go. Okay, so this is gonna be a harness type swim bait. It's meant to fish on the bottom. It's got this giant heavy 21 gram head on there with this swim bait. It's a really thick swim bait. It is not an elastic type bait. It doesn't, or an elastomer type bait. It's not super stretchy. It's really, really thick. It comes with a harness treble hook on the top. Right there um super cool bait you do have the option of putting a treble hook on the bottom if you want to swim it more than just bottom bouncing it but this one right here is meant to fish on the bottom it's heavy it'll stay down there you can jig it you can slow creep it on the bottom all you goby guys should be able to catch a ton of fish on this so there goes the jumgo like this is pretty sick bait duo jumgo all right guys finally we are going to end with the bait sanity g unit explorer gill all right so every once in a while we get limited edition runs of hand painted explorer gills uh garrett he, he paints these things and he crushes the paint jobs on them uh this is going to be this is the newest version of it all right so this is the newest version of it right here custom painted by Garrett himself. Garrett Custom does sick paint jobs. There you go. This one is a pretty clean white with like a transparent black scaling on there. Um, looks really, really good. The Explorer Gill, obviously you guys know we have a great relationship with Bait Sanity. We have been doing an Explorer Gill contest every year, but these hand painted baits from Garrett are pretty sick. Garrett does some of the sickest paint jobs on the planet. So there's that. This will come just like every other Explorer Gill comes. It's going to come with a set of weights, a spare tail, and 
tungsten weight strips right there. These ones will come in a cool little case right there for you. There you go. Also will come with a paddle tail. Bam, there you go. So this one's gonna come set, all ready to go. These are in super limited quantities. There's under 20 of them available. So if you wanna get them in a very unique uh, paint job, there you go, super sick bait. The Bait Sanity Explorer Guild catches a ton of fish. They've been catching fish of all types of species all over the US. So if you ever wanted to try one, this is a good, cool one to get. There you go right there. So the G Unit Explorer Guild series from Bait Sanity and Garrett Custom. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you saw some stuff that you really needed to grab, some restock stuff that you've been waiting on. Some of this, these new items from Duo are pretty sick. Uh, some of these new color offerings from OSP. I appreciate you. I hope you have an amazing Sunday. Everything is going to be linked in the description. So if you're having trouble finding anything, just go in the description and find it. Um, thank you for tuning in. On behalf of everybody here at The Hookup, Ben, Jeff, CJ, myself, thank you again. Have a great Sunday. Uh, enjoy yourself. Go catch some fish.